What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Rooster Retro Show. My name is Rue, and you were watching Final Fantasy Part 18. In today's episode, we are going to finally take on the last dungeon of the game. In the last episode, we did save the uh, Crystal of the Wind uh, from the Tiamat Dragon, which was awesome. Good battle there, and I uh, also took out that nasty mech that was uh, over there somewhere. <laughs> so right now what we're doing is we're taking a look at some of the uh, in-game uh, inventory that I've got right here. Uh, so far I've got, you know, pretty much the in-game gear that I'm going to have to uh, finish up the game. Unless we find some more goodies down in the dungeons uh, coming up here pretty shortly. So uh, but There's going to be a little bit of some extra stuff that we're going to take care of today uh, before we start heading towards there. So we'll, uh, we'll get that done as soon as we can. Uh, probably shops, uh, a couple items and things like that. Uh, I believe we need to go talk to the sages one more time. We do also have the uh, adamantine uh, item, or whatever you call that, unique item or something like that, uh, that we do want to take back towards the dwarf. So uh, we'll also head there before we start taking on the uh, last dungeon as well. Let's take out this uh, nasty Allosaurus, though, first, who just so happened to get in our way after the desert here. <laughs> Uh, pretty much uh, trying to just get back to my uh, airship over here, so. I think it's down here to the south. There we go. Alright, so uh, first things first. Let's go take care of getting some items that we're going to need for the end of the game. I uh, just want to stock up, essentially, just to make sure that we have enough of everything pretty much on hand, so. And I'll take one last look at uh, some of the islands here, because uh, this is probably going to be our last little bit of uh, exploration around here somewhere, so. Let's see, uh, we'll probably stop over here, uh, just to get some goodies. Crescent Lake, yeah, Crescent Lake's always been a pretty good area for uh, pretty much anything inventory. <laughs> we'll take a quick little save here at the end. I have a crap load of money, which is awesome. Uh, pretty much all we're going to need for the rest of the game. Uh, I believe I did all my spell checks and everything like that, too, so I'm not too worried about any more magic that I need. I think everyone's pretty much either at where they can be, or uh, I just didn't have enough capacity left for it, so... It is what it is. Uh, let's buy a crap load of potions. Just make sure we're stocked up on those. Not that I'm worried about any kind of spending anymore. <laughs> Yep, just, uh, just getting it all the way up to 99. <laughs> Alright, let's do the antidotes next. Just because I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure what the, uh, uh the, the nasty challenges of the next dungeon are gonna be, but, uh, it is the final dungeon of the game, so, uh, I we'll just wanna make sure that I've got a, a, a whole hell of a lot of stuff, you know? I gotta stop saying crap load. <laughs> Alright, there we go, 99 of, of some pretty much goodness there. Yeah, that's gonna keep us stocked up, so we're all right there. It's probably a whole lot to uh, hang on to. I guess uh, <laughs> each one of these uh, uh, light warriors have a backpack on or something. I would at least hope, because carrying a bunch of potions like that has to has to weigh you down somewhat. So, <laughs> uh, good old fantasy games and overthinking things. <laughs> we, the twelve sages, were led here by the star's prophecy. The four great forces have gathered at the Temple of Chaos in the center of their altars. The time has come to destroy the evil at its source. With the four crystals shining again, you can break through the wall of the... Of the what? Of the true enemy <laughs> lies 2,000 years in the past. I gotta look at this better. Your memories have been lost, but you are from this world's original timeline. You must break the time loop to restore time to its proper flow. To break the loop in this chain of time, you must defeat the one who began the cycle. The destruction of our world that began 400 years ago was caused by someone from the present who fled 2,000 years into the past and sent the fiends towards our forward in time. I can see time spiraling, whatever t whatever t Damn it! Just read it! <laughs> you can read it on the screen. It's so far away from me, I have a really big TV and it's kind of really tiny. I can see the uh, repetition of 2,000 years' time. It's quite like the chicken and the egg. That's a weird thing to say. Long ago, warriors of the Sky People fought against the world's destruction. They survived, but were transformed into bats. Ah, that's actually important. Power must be turned towards its proper end. We lost control of the wind 400 years ago. Water followed 200 years later, and then the earth, and now fire. Uh, the forces that bind this world are gone. And this is the Prophet Lucan, I believe we've already uh, talked to him before. Our path has been decided. 
All right, there, so there's the update on the sages. They give you all kinds of other stuff, and that introduces Chapter 10, The Temple of Chaos, uh, which we're absolutely heading towards. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be the final chapter of the game, and uh, that's where we're heading right now. Uh, it's good to keep in mind about the bats. Those are uh, uh, being uh, some of the previous warriors before, because we're actually going to come up on that here pretty soon. All right, so let's take the awesome flight over to the, uh, well, it's basically the Temple of Fiends. <laughs> We've already been there before, but uh, there is going to be a little bit more that we're going to uh, introduce into this, so let's go. Now, where is uh, where is the area of Cornelia? That's where we need to head towards. I think it was just right there to the right, and <laughs> I probably passed it. <laughs> this looks like it. Uh, nope, go up, Rue. You, you dumbass. <laughs> Searching, searching, yeah, you know, as long as I've been playing this game, I still don't know exactly where I'm heading, but, uh... Oh, you know what? There is one more thing that I need to take care of. That's right. We have the, uh, the adamantine, uh, or adamantine... Adamantide. I'm not sure how to say that, but let's kill this freaking snake. Okay. Uh, we need to take this over to the dwarves. That's where I'm heading right now. That's what I was looking for. I was like, yeah, let's go to the Temple of Fiends, but no, not yet. <laughs> one, one little thing, one last thing to do. I want to get a nice weapon here. That's, that's adamantite! Now, let me make that sword for you. Here, my finest work. It is my gift. Thank you, Sir Doof. And there we go, Excalibur. It looks like Goku got a hold of it, but we're gonna trade that out here. Yeah, you don't need that. Uh, that is definitely gonna be a weapon for Ben. Let's uh, go ahead and equip that now. The strongest fucking sword in the game, yes! Oh yeah, there we go, attack 70. Accuracy went up too, I believe. So yeah, that's gonna be pretty good. Make sure you take care of that with the adamantite that, uh, that you... I think we picked that up somewhere. <laughs> it's a previous episode, don't worry about it. Alright, now we can start heading towards our actual destination. Now uh, there's Cornelia, so uh, let's, let's say one more goodbye here. Maybe we'll come stay at the inn real quick and uh, take care of some health, just in case. Make sure we're at tip-top capacity. At the cheapest inn in the game. <laughs> I've done a, a review video of the cheapest inns and in, uh, taverns in World of Warcraft. I should probably do it for like all uh, RPGs at this point because uh, that one uh, would make the list because it's super cheap. And uh, it's actually kind of big if you look at it compared to some of the other areas in Final Fantasy 1 that we've uh, stayed at. There's, that's probably been a, one of the nicer establishments. So there you go. <laughs> all right, here we go. Could these be the bats that they were talking about? When the light of the four crystals covers the black crystal in the center of this room, the four forces will gather and a time gate will open. The curse of chaos turned us into bats, but with this crystal shining anew, we can speak again. The four fiends steal the light of the crystals and someone 2,000 years in the past is absorbing all of that power. This is our true enemy. And I got into a fight. <laughs> hey, at least we got a strike first on the skeletons, though. <laughs> yeah, let's just go ahead and run from these fuckers. <laughs> yeah, goodbye. Close call my ass. They're weak. We are the five sky people who left to find the cause of the world's destruction. But that was 400 years ago. The light. The light of the four we sought all this time. With the crystal shining, you should be able to open a time gate that spans 2,000 years. All right, so uh, these were the previous warriors that they've been turned into bats, unfortunately. The four crystals now cover the black crystal. The current of time and space is twisted. The ticket step forward is to travel 2,000 years into the past. Let's do it. Let's go. Into the Temple of Chaos. The true Temple of Chaos. <laughs> For my immediate fuck-up in Episode 1. <laughs> All right, so here we go. There's, uh, there's gonna be a lot of stronger enemies going forward here, uh, so I'm glad we definitely picked up the uh, Ex Excalibur sword. That was definitely worth the uh, the travel to go get it. Ooh, a purple worm. Yeah, the, a lot of them are probably gonna be new enemies. We're also gonna see some old enemies down here, uh, just in a little bit of a kind of a boss uh, a boss battle format, to say. Uh, but we'll traverse that word uh, that that area when we get to it. So, words. <laughs> Come on, Goku, fight this fucker. There we go. So yeah, Goku is still gonna be uh, the powerhouse of the group going forward anyway, because uh, yeah, his damage is just so incredible right now. 
But, uh, yeah, yeah, Venus is gonna be able to fight pretty good, though, now with that awesome sword, so... I'll keep that in mind. Alright, so we'll start heading down towards, uh, well, this... I was gonna go towards that door, but it looks like it's actually blocked off, and then we gotta do a fight. What is that, a Gorgamera? That's a weird thing. It's, uh, definitely a Chimera's, uh, older brother. <laughs> Probably tougher. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, see, that Excalibur does really, really nice. Uh, but still, not as bad. <laughs> the Fist of Fury, baby! Oh! The Fist of Fury on Goku is just nothing to be trifled with. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna be a, a, a long dungeon, actually, uh, so it's gonna have a lot of parts to it, so that we're definitely gonna, not gonna be wrapping it up in this episode. There is gonna be one last final episode after this, so... Um, today is not gonna wrap it up in, in its full uh, <laughs> entity there. <laughs> All right, so we're, uh, looks like we went up a level, I believe. Yeah, so, uh, in the Temple of Chaos, I think we're going up, I guess. I don't know. Maybe we'll go back down or something like that. All right, we got three dream... <laughs> God. Three green dragons. Let's see, uh, maybe we'll put these gauntlets to use here, just to make sure we hit everybody in the group. Let's see if we can get some of that uh, defense out there. Or speed, was it? I can't remember. <laughs> Ooh, the poison gas has been uh, released. Damn you, green dragons. I guess that means they're uh, poison dragons. <laughs> One of them is at least destroyed, so that's nice. Oh yeah, it's evasion, that's right. Well, <laughs> better late than never. <laughs> Uh, poor Swedge and his slow speed. Uh, speed. Damn, me and my talking. All right, let's try out the healing rod there. Let's get a little bit of uh, health back there. Hmm, seven hundred and thirty-two. That's always really good to see. <laughs> that wasn't the probably not the most nastiest strike he's got, but it's so much damage. It's enough to do it. So. Oh, that's great. All right. Oh, what do we have here? Ooh, it's a it's a boss battle. It's a death beholder. Yeah. So there's gonna be, like I said, some random encounters in here as well as uh, some more familiar enemies that we've seen. Uh, but this is the first of a couple boss fights uh, fights that we're gonna take care of here. Yeah. Let's get a round of haste going. That's gonna probably do us some. <laughs> we definitely gotta bu uh, buff up. Ooh, there we go, that's some nice damage. And that's it. <laughs> all, all of that setup just to kill it in about two hits. Uh, it, it died in one round. So, yeah, we're incredibly strong. Uh, and and that, is, that is Final Fantasy 1 in a nutshell. It starts off so difficult, and then uh, later on at this point in the game, if you've done everything, kind of like following around what I've been doing, you're going to be strong as shit. There we go, we got some more money. There's a strong plate on the floor. You sent something evil? Hmm. And, uh, no, is it the Earth Staff? Oh, no, you know what it is? Um, I think it's the item that we got in the very beginning of the game. It's the loot. Is it called the loot in this version? I can't remember. I'm, uh, I saw it right there on the item screen. <laughs> Still trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Yep, it's the loot. Yeah, so, uh, the item that you've gotten very way back in episode one there, uh, when we saved the princess, that, that's the item that she gave you, and that is finally its use here in the Temple of Chaos. Alright, let's uh, let's take a look down this road. I'm, I'm not sure like, how many tr uh, treasures or anything like that are going to be uh, to, found, uh, to be found here, uh, just because it is the last place that we've gone to, and everything else is pretty much built up towards this, so... Uh, if I'm just making a straight beeline towards uh, where I'm supposed to be going, then that's why. It can be a little bit confusing here, though, as well, uh, just in case, so... Ooh, that flame is, uh... Well, that's not too terrible. Could have been worse. Ooh, let's do some of that black robe damage there. Not sure what it's doing, but it's but it's doing really good. <laughs> clothes are good in fights. <laughs> Just throw your clothes at somebody. <laughs> uh, weak damage. Come on, you can do better, Chimera. Chimera. 
Oh yes, it's dead. <laughs> uh, the poor gauntlets are, well, doing a little bit better. Uh, it's not gonna do enough, <laughs> I can tell you right now. <laughs> uh, but that's okay, at least it gives mid, uh, uh, yeah, it gives mid something to do, so that's okay. Throw a little of that regen out here. Ooh, over a thousand damage is always awesome. Ah, your weak little flame does nothing. It's terrible. <laughs> what a shitty monster. <laughs> there we go. Still getting a lot of experience, though, for that, and definitely a lot of money, so not that we need the money anymore, but, uh... And there we go. Yeah, it looks like these rooms are barren as hell. There's nothing in them, so, uh, I, I think it's just kind of like a... A, th a thing to just kind of throw us off the, the beaten trail there, so not too worried about that. Probably not going to be a lot of treasures, like, as I said. Uh, let's see. Uh, these things, yeah, they are zombies, so I'm guessing that uh, some of the white magic here can do uh, some pretty good damage here. Let's see what we can do. 75? Ah, that's a little bit. Could have been better, but that's okay. It, it did it to the group. Which isn't the important part, but <laughs> maybe not so much when you have single, uh, single striking uh, features as, such as Goku, uh, with the monk of the group, uh, taking care of pretty much anything in one hit. Hey, there you go, mid. Very nice hit. That was excellent, actually. Yeah, nothing in this room either, so yeah, there's really a whole lot of nothing going on. Let's see, uh, maybe it's his final room over here. Uh, but of course, four more zombie dragons to take care of. Let's see, yeah, that's right, I could use some of that light axe there. That's gonna probably do okay. And probably maybe the Thor's hammer I'm thinking about, but... Let's see, no, maybe not. Maybe we'll just throw out some, uh, incredibly powerful white magic. Yeah, that's doing okay. Uh, let's see what Diaja can do. Uh, about the same, really, I'm thinking. <laughs> well, that one was pretty good. Ah, oh, shit. The one, one, the one enemy that was uh, ineffective had to be the one that I chose Goku to strike with. Let's see if I can get some of that Hilaga off right away. Well, not right away. Nope, and probably not at all. <laughs> at least I tried. Would have been an okay. I'll, I'll probably try to do that again in another round or two. At least do a little bit of uh, awesome healing here and just in the middle of it, because not that we're looking too terribly low, but just in case. Preventative measures. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's just go down here. Oh, okay, so now it's uh, grass. So this is a very interesting area. It's like uh, everything's just kind of like changing around over here. <laughs> At least for the map, is what I mean. Ah, uh, so white dragons here. Okay, let's see what we can do to these fuckers. Let's see what the black, uh, the black robe will do to these things here. Hopefully good damage. At least we've got the non-elemental damage here coming out from the gauntlets. <laughs> while, while minimal, it's, uh, still okay to at least deal it out. Ooh, it threw some ice storm at us. Okay, so they're obviously, uh, ice elementals. Uh, the black isn't doing too much, but hey, it killed one, <laughs> so that's alright. Ah, uh, there we go. Maybe now I can get some of that Hilaga off. Nope. Ah, <laughs> uh, the Fist of Fury. So good. Alright, so, uh, let's see, I'm, I'm not sure if I was actually using a map when I was doing this part of the dungeon. I think I, I might have, uh, done part of this blind, uh, just because I wanted to do the final area of the game, uh, this way, because I know it's pretty much straightforward, I think. There's not a whole lot of loops, uh, that we gotta go jump through to, to go around here, so I think it's pretty straightforward. There we go, finally got some of that heal log off. Just a nice little bounce there, or boost, I should say. Come on, Venus. Oh yeah, you put your Venus right into him. 
<laughs> Gotta get some of those jokes out now before the, uh, before the series is over. <laughs> Again, pretty straightforward path here. Oh, we got four Earth Medusas. Let's see how terrible these things can be. Hopefully not too bad. I'm gonna try some of that Black Robe again. Let's see if we can do any damage with this. Uh, minimal. Quite minimal. At least it did something. <laughs> there we go. Come on, Goku. Kill it! Yes. Oh, shit. Stunned Ben. Not good. That's what they could do. Of course, a Medusa can stun. I'm su surprised it didn't turn him to stone. That could have been a little bit better. I mean, worse for us, but yeah. <laughs> better for the development of the game. Alright, come in mid, mid. What you got? Yes! Very nice. Oh, Goku got a level up. Nice, to level 33. We'll just wrap around this side of the building over here. I'll go down here. It doesn't look like... Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I could go inside one of these uh, little side slots, maybe. Uh, we'll take out the golems first, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't think rocks are enough to take care of the Fist of Fury. It's just not enough. <laughs> Those things are made of, uh, mithril. No, actually, mithril's a thing in this game, so I can't really say that either. What's the stuff that Tony Stark made his gear out of? There you go. It's, 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 it's Stark tech. <laughs> That's what the monks in Final Fantasy 1 use. <laughs> Just, like, awesome gear and everybody else sucks. That's why they don't need shit, because you can't see it. It's micro. <laughs> and there we go! That's enough to take care of those nasty, terrible golems. Ah, and there's Venus with a level up, level 33. And mid as well, gets the level 33 upgrade. That might be uh, some of the last leveling we're gonna do, and it looks like there was probably nothing down there, so that was probably a dead end, so... I'll just keep going around the building and we'll find our way around. Uh, who's left? I think it's uh, maybe just Swedge that's left, uh, unless I saw him first, or I just missed it, so I don't know. Ooh, very nice mid with a critical hit. That's that's awesome. That's some pretty good damage there. Get a little bit of healing going off. Not a bad idea. Alright, finish this fucker. There we go. Alright, that was just enough to do it. Very good. Alright, let's continue on and see where this uh, path is going to take us over here. Ah, uh, looks like we do have a little bit of a... I think I want to check out this room here first, though. Just in case, because I think going down goes towards the next uh, level of the, uh, of the dungeon here. We'll take out these basilisks first. These guys are probably a little bit some of the uh, weaker enemies that we've come across here so far. Oh, there's that glare. It looks like it didn't do anything, though, so that's alright. Oh, we got a nice critical hit from Goku. Very nice. Always enough. He's gonna, he's definitely gonna be the powerhouse that's gonna take out the final boss. I'm telling you right now, calling it. <laughs> yeah, uh, final hit. I'm saying final hit on Goku. Should be the one to do it. The in-game strike. All right, see you later, Basilisk. We don't serve your kind around here. <laughs> Star Wars jokes, very nice. Uh, maybe it's not. Maybe the room is just completely barren of nothing. So yeah, there we go. It's all just a big trick. Don't don't fall for it. Ah, but what isn't a trick is fighting the Lich again. Here's the Lich, and I believe some of their stats have been improved as well. So uh, they're going to be a little bit of a tougher battle going forward. But that's okay. Let's take care of this little nasty uh, evil elemental boss that we fought in the past. Uh, we restored the Crystal of Earth from this bastard. <laughs> and now it's time to take vengeance one more time. Because we did travel 2,000 years in the past, so it looks like that these fiends, this is their uh, origination point, so... That would make sense. Alright, let's throw up the haste. Oh yeah, get it on Goku, because you know that's gonna be the best. <laughs> 
Ooh, we got a critical hit on Swedge. That's alright, we'll throw some of that evasion up with a white robe. Alright, come on fighters, fight. Uh, maybe we'll do some of that bar ice. Yeah, that's right, because I feel like uh, maybe this is what the Lich's uh, specialty is, is that nasty ice magic. <laughs> that's okay, Ben had enough to take care of the Lich for the second time. We got one gold out of that. <laughs> 500 points of experience. I think, yeah, that's probably because uh, he was the original first boss that we've taken care of, and now we are incredibly so strong that it doesn't even matter anymore at this point. Uh, let's do the, the awesome sound effects for the potions here. Get everybody up in as good a capacity as I can. Still in the 80s here, so that's okay. Oh, now we're down to the 70s of potions, so that's why I pretty much stocked up all the way up. Just so I could do this. <laughs> One last time. Alright, let's go down. Into the next floor down here in the Temple of Chaos. It looks like now we are going uh, downstairs, I believe, so... Not sure when that started, but that's okay. It looks like maybe we wrapped around the temple is crazy, it's big, it's nasty. So, yeah, that's why. <laughs> it is the final dungeon, after all. I right, would we'll take out some more of these uh, lob worms. Fifteen. What a weak hit. Nothing. You're gonna be destroyed by Goku. And you're gonna be destroyed by Beanus. That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> when you're destroyed by such a thing. <laughs> Probably didn't even need to get the evasion up, but that's okay. It might as well, just in case, you know, so that way we don't have to worry about getting hit going forward. And I can also save some of my magic capacity from, from my casters here, so... Always good to keep those items on hand. Make sure you pick those up on, on the way in the in the previous episodes where I picked them up. Which is probably some of the ones just not too far away from uh, episode 18. <laughs> no, they're definitely not at the beginning. God, it's almost hard to think about how the beginning started so long ago and it's now 2021 when this uh, final episodes are coming out. Uh, I've definitely taken my time. And uh, this is gonna, definitely going to also be the year for Earthbound. And I'm saying it now, and that means I'm going to do it. <laughs> because I always follow through. <laughs> Alright, let's throw out that Thor's hammer and see what we can do here. Uh, not quite enough to kill one of them yet. Let's see if this will be enough damage. Nope, not quite. It was hopeful thinking. <laughs> oh, yes, there we go. I, I love the critical so much from Goku just because it's in the thousands and it... It's probably some of the highest damage you could deal out in this game. Now, I'm not sure about some of the uh, final in-level magic, because I didn't take a Black Mage with me uh, from Jump Street, but uh, just in case, you know, there, there definitely could be some more uh, powerful magics out there in, in the case of uh, taking a, a Black Wizard with you. Uh, I could have I probably done that, you know, in, in place of Swedge there instead, instead of a White Mage, but I, I felt like having the healing capabilities were a little bit more important to me, especially in this part of the game, here at the end. All right, you dirty fire lizards. We're done here. Take him out, Goku. You know what to do. <laughs> Just punch him a couple times. Everything dies by the fist. This is the way. For you Mandalorian fans. <laughs> he fists a lot of things, too. And that sounded bad as soon as it came out of my mouth. Well, let's see. Maybe a little bit of healing if we can get it off in time. Ah, all right. We were able to, finally. Just for a little bit. <laughs> Every little bit counts, though. I, I still stand by that. Oh, there we go. Not a critical, but eight hits are pretty awesome. It almost makes me wonder if I didn't even need uh, to take a fighter, but it, it is nice to have the Excalibur and the extra little bit. I'm, I'm considering maybe on the next, uh, if I do another run of these, is uh, maybe an all-monk run. Or, uh, two monks, two white mages. I like that a little bit. Or maybe forget the white mages and, I don't know, maybe go with the black mages this time. Or thieves. I haven't done any of that yet. So, <laughs> I'm definitely feeling like I want to take another uh, strike at this game going forward. Uh, maybe I'll do it live or something like that. I'm not sure quite yet. But uh, I definitely want to change the party up and do something a little bit more difficult going forward. Alright. Let's do it. Yes! Very nice. Come on, Ben. I knew you could do it, buddy. <laughs> Just enough to kill it. Yeah, 
Yeah, they, these things are really not very powerful at all. Doing that weak damage. Nothing. All right, and there it is, Swedge, finally, with the level 33 upgrade. And we can't carry the Protect Helmet. Uh, does anybody actually need that? That's the question. Let me see. Uh, so Mid's already got one on. Uh, I feel like Ben already has a Healing Helmet on. That, uh, you know, I think the... I don't know. I think maybe I'll just leave it. Yeah. I think we're good where we are. There, there, I guess there, that means there will be some treasures down here a little bit, but uh, some of the stuff we're probably not going to need too much just because I've done a whole lot of equipping everywhere else and pretty much went as, as everywhere that I could to find uh, most of the the game's treasures and, and, and goodies there. So but if I missed anything, I apologize, uh, but uh, I, I think I pretty much got everything that's, that's basically needed for the end of the game here. So If you followed along with mine as a guide, then uh, you'll do all right. And I, I'm very casual of a player too, so <laughs> don't consider this a walkthrough either. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just—it's just what it is. It's fun. It's games, and I love Nintendo and Final Fantasy, for that matter. <laughs> All right, we found a whole lot of money in the treasure chest. Uh, so basically, coming over there was for that, I guess. I uh, don't really know why I needed money anymore, because I don't think we're gonna need it going forward. <laughs> Uh, but maybe you could uh, get all that stuff and then leave if you needed to. So if you needed to come get some uh, in-game treasures, this is probably the place to do it. And then I believe you can leave. I hope you can leave the Temple of Chaos. I'm not quite sure because I don't, but uh, <laughs> just in case you need to, there it is. There we go. Fin finalize that, uh, that fire lizard. He's done. Now let's haul ass down the hallway. Uh, a couple more shitty lava worms. They're weak. They do nothing to us. I don't know why I'm even fighting them. I probably could've just run. But sometimes that, that takes a little bit more of our, our statistics in evasion, I believe, or... Yeah, probably evasion to uh, run away, so... And, and that is also the specialty of the thief, if you're taking a thief with you in your party. Uh, but that's okay, we'll just kill them. <laughs> we'll destroy them. Absolutely destroy them, come on. All right, we're able to get a little bit of healing off there right away. And finish it off, Goku. Oh, yeah. His accuracy is so good now, I don't even think he can miss anymore. <laughs> uh, so, okay, so I guess we gotta go back down through this door. So I, I pretty much went there for, like, almost no reason. There's just to collect some treasures, I guess. Uh, there's another protect ring, which I believe everybody in the party has, so not too worried about that one. We can leave that there as well. Uh, let's go ahead with the evasion, just in case. Uh, I wasn't able to get it off in time. Ah, there we go. Destroyed. Absolutely. Alright, let's finish off this last fire lizard. Uh, if, if you'll notice, there is uh, a little bit of a scheme going on, so we're, we're fighting fire enemies, if you haven't noticed. Uh, so I, I believe that means the fire elemental will be coming up next. So each one of these floors is associated with one of the uh, four elemental fiends that we fought in the, in the past. Well, technically, we are in the past right now, so, <laughs> I mean, the future, the past episodes, the future now, in the past, uh, not right now. Before. <laughs> uh. Alright, come on and destroy it, Goku, please. There we go. So I'm guessing this area is a little bit bigger as well than the uh, previous floor that we were just on. It at least seems that way because I'm kind of going around in circles in these really narrow hallways. I wonder what's in that door over there. Maybe I should go check that out first. Just in case there's any like very awesome in-game stuff that I'm totally missing. <laughs> I usually go through these episodes first and kind of notate where things are, but all my notes from before when I was playing through the game are, are somewhere. They're just not around me. Uh, but I, I do use notes, I use maps and things like that, and I think it's okay to do that, uh, especially in RPGs. Uh, because it's fun, maps are cool. <laughs> and I like that kind of stuff. Alright, 
the final round to kill off the final lava worm. They don't really look very lava, do they? I mean, they're kind of green. They at least more look like a poison worm, but I guess lava was the word that was chosen for, for this particular enemy. Maybe they're green when they come out of the lava. I don't know. Maybe they're just green by nature. What do we have in the treasure box here? Ooh, a Sasuke in the treasure chest. I believe that's a weapon for the uh, for a thief. Uh, but since we don't have them, the Sasuke's not really going to do a whole lot for us right now. Uh, or a Black Mage. I believe a Black Mage could use it as well. Hmm, very nice critical. Alright, fin uh, finalize it. Come on, mid. Come on, man. I thought you could have done it. Damn. That was, that was almost awesome until it wasn't. <laughs> Alright, let's check our, uh, let's see what we've got here. Magic capacity. We'll do a little bit of curing here. Make sure Bid's taken care of. Just a little bit. That's enough to probably get him where I want him to be comfortably. Ooh, a fire gigas. Uh, let's take out this big bastard first, if we can. Uh, I, maybe it's just because of the weapon that I have on mid. Maybe that's why he's not doing so much damage down here. Or maybe it, just, it could also just be his complete strength at attribute right now compared to the other uh, enemies that we're fighting up here. Their defense might be a little bit higher. Just the way that he's fighting, probably. Uh, I like to think about it in terms of, like, Dungeons & Dragons almost. It's just like, ah, I'm kind of crappy, and I, I fight, like, really terribly. <laughs> but he's good at... He's, he's a jack-of-all-trades, you know? So that's basically why we took the Red Mage in this, uh, in this quest. But yeah, going forward, I think I'm going to totally change up the group. Maybe just because there's uh, probably not enough slots, I'll probably have to take one or two of the other uh, Light Warriors going forward in another playthrough. But uh, maybe it'll be the Monk, I'm sure of that. <laughs> just because he's so damn strong. Alright, I've about had it with all you fire enemies. How many more fire enemies do we have left to fight? Uh, but we still have enough time for a healing round, though, at least. Right, let's get that recovery up, and come on, mid. Do a little bit better, buddy. And that wasn't too terribly bad. I, I guess the, the next strike will definitely take something out. Yeah, Ben can do it. There we go. I, I probably could be relying on mid for a little bit more of his uh, magical abilities right now. I'm not using a whole lot of that, but uh, that's just, just to save it up for the final battle. Oh, we got into a fight here. It's Merilith once again. The Temple, uh, from the Temple of Fire, or not the Temple of Fire, that's Legend of Zelda, from the, uh, Mount Gurgu. Yeah. The Elemental Fiend of Fire, that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> um, so, uh, we'll get some of that haste going here. Just to make sure we do enough damage there. Um, there we go, Ben, that was, that was actually pretty decent there, that wasn't too bad. We'll get some of that Resist Fire going. Ooh, she did a critical against Venus! She hit my penis really hard. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Do we want to throw off some of this uh, ice magic, or should I just maybe focus on... Well, I don't know. <laughs> kind of missed what I did there. I'll definitely get a heal up Ben there a little bit. Ooh, the critical from Venus was enough to kill Merilith once again. Uh, the final time we'll see her from the past. In the future, in the past. <laughs> What awaits the travelers down in the second floor down here? Probably the third floor. Thank you so much for watching the Rooster Retro Show. My name is Rue, and we will see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification icon to be reminded of future uploads. We'll see you next time.